Hey guys, today I'm making these tiny little wine goblets that you can actually fill with liquid or slime. Uh, some slime and then just some creepy little eyeballs for your dolls. If you're new to my channel and you like what you see, please feel free to click that subscribe button. I am on Instagram. Do tag me if you make this craft and I'll totally come check it out. Uh, and finally, kids, do be sure and ask a parent for help before starting this craft. Okay guys, so let's get started. So I'm just starting again with these dental brushes. You may have seen me use them in previous videos. Um, I like them because they do hold liquid if you can just seal the tiny little section along the bottom. And so I'm just cutting it in here. I do it kind of slowly with my scissors, just going bit by bit um, at the half inch mark. And it's a little bit jagged, so I'm just going to file the top until smooth. And I can just clean out the top. And for the bottom, I just decided to use hot glue. It seals it and then also it works as the bottom, so that's perfect. You could, of course, use a bead also. And I'm just tugging it down slowly till I get the shape that I like. And if you don't like it, you can pop it off and try again. I add a little bit of hot glue to the bottom and then just pressing it down on a little gem. And I paint the top for the blood effect with red nail polish. So just kind of draping it just a tiny little bit and then just kind of dragging it down along the sides. And then again, just painting the bottom with my red nail polish. And for my little hand goblet one, I just used glittery silver along the top. And so to make my hands, again, just using nail polish, I can draw out five fingers, or you can make alien hands and have just two big ones, I guess. And when dry, I use my black nail polish to make uh, my nails. And again, just painting the bottom red. And for the eyeball, I'm just using a tiny bit of hot glue. Just to drop. And then I can flip it over and it should droop just a little bit. And again, this is one of those, if it doesn't work, you can always redo it, it's very easy. I stab it with a needle and paint it white. And when it dries, I add some black. And when that dries, I just drag a tiny bit of red nail polish to give that kind of um, bloodshot effect. And when dry, I can start on my slime. So I'm just taking clear school glue, just a small amount. And some liquid starch, and I like liquid starch because it starts to work like immediately. So just a teensy teensy amount here. And you can see already, as soon as I begin to stir it, it's just starting to like clump up. And I just keep stirring until I have the consistency that I want. I add a drop of green food coloring. And it's ready to pop off. And I had a hard time figuring out how much of me playing with slime you guys wanted to watch. I figured probably not that much, um, but really I could have just done this for like five minutes. So this is a compromise. I hope it's not too much, but uh, as you can see, it's a pretty good consistency. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, so, but at some point you gotta just move on, right? So I pop off a tiny little piece, place it over my little eyeball. And, I set that to the side and add just little pieces at a time into my jar. It was a pain to try and just put a whole bunch in at one time. 
and I just fill it bit by bit and then I can add my little eyeball and I thought it'd be so cool if it could drape but the thing is because it's slime right it just keeps oozing all the way down so it wasn't gonna stay like that for very long so I just popped it in the top and of course your slime will dry out so you eventually want to put it back into a ziploc bag or something like that or you can just add some wine so this is just red and green food coloring mixed together or just add some water and drop in a couple more of your eyeballs for a different effect. And guys, you are so totally good to go. Well guys, I sure hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks guys! <laughs>